All right, I need to clear something up a little bit here. When we're looking at an absolute value and converting it over into a piecewise function, I know the question's going to come up, what do I do with this point right here? What do I do with that invariant point, number one? Do I put it in the top interval, like I did right here? That's why it's got a square bracket. Or do I put it in the bottom interval, right there, like I did on this one, where it's got the square bracket? So, I mean, this one, I included one in the, in the top part of the piece. Down here, I included in the bottom part of the piece, simply by having the square bracket. Which one is right? Well, both. That's the confusing part. That one, that invariant point, It can be in either interval, but it can't be in both. So it has to be either in the top one or in the bottom one. It can't be in both. And as long as it is in one of them. So on your assignments, that answer is correct. And that answer is correct. So you don't need to write both of them as long as you have one or the other. As long as that one is included in either the top or the bottom, but not in both, you get a correct mark.